I am Tito and I'm with Zoll Medical and I'm here to show you the Zoll Z-Vent. And before I pull this vent out of the bag, I'd like to talk to you about the history of the Zoll Z-Vent. And it looks something like this. This EMV Plus vent was designed uh, for the military and for the commercial market. Um, we sell it in all military, uh, all branches of the military, and we also sell it uh, at, at other in other countries uh, in their military. So it's done very, very well. And what Zoll has done is taking this brown or green vent, whatever color, and we redesigned it and added some new software to it just to make it even better. And the same software is at the military right now. So does that stuff correlate to what we need in EMS or hospitals in the US uh, market today? We think so. And so I'd like to take a couple minutes and show you uh, what those are. So the Z vent's in this stat bag right now and basically everything you need is in this stat bag. Um, right here in the very front, I have uh, circuits. Uh, I normally carry two. I got mine right here off to the side. We have the side here. I can carry all the different accessories, uh, mask, uh, some test lungs, and so on. It's all Z-Fent. Right out of the bag. As you can tell, it looks much different from that EMV+. Plus. But one thing you'll notice right now is that it's just 10 pounds. And that's a military spec that really works well for EMS uh, or for transport. Uh, under 10 pounds, uh, you don't have to add an extra battery to it, a sprint pack or anything like that. Um, that's another military spec that we're really proud about. This is gonna give you a 10 hour battery inside here. This 10 hour battery um, is amazing. And basically, if you don't trust it, you can always shore power your vent right into the back of your truck or on your flight. Uh, and you can continue that charge. Also, I'm uh, just before I turn it on, I'll just show you some other things right here in the back is a way you can mount it in the back of your truck. You just find some wall real estate and it's a plate about this big and you just slide it on and you slide it off right there. And it's rated for 20 G, so um, so it's pretty durable. Uh, with, there's a lot more uh, military specs that I'm not gonna get into today, but there's so much ingress protection, drop protection, it can get rained on, snowed on, stand on, you know, um, there's just so much, and, and that stuff obviously can relate to the uh, EMS market. Um, so let's go ahead and show you what this vent can do. Um, I'm going to take a circuit right over here. Sorry, excuse me for a second. This circuit, right out of the package, this is your kind of go-to circuit every single time. This is adult slash pediatric circuit. Um, it goes from 200 cc's of volume all the way up to 2,000. Um, and so your vent is rated for right now as a 5K vent, uh, so 5 kilos and all the way up. So to hook it up, all I had to do is put the gas output right here, put the green one on the green, which is uh, your transducer and in your exhalation valve on the last one. It's that simple. You just make those quick connections. And why I'm thinking of it too right now, this gas intake right here, this gas intake is quite large, larger than most ventilators, and there's a reason for it. This vent is able to, you can take a biochemical canister and twist that right on. And now you've isolated this vent from any kind of uh, chemicals, viral, bacterial, viral, um, and it, you're, it's self-contained. Uh, you can also put one of these oxygen reservoir bags on here. And now you don't have to run your high pressure hose straight from here. You can run the low pressure and you can make those E bottles or D bottles last you for hours and hours and just with a couple of liters. So some people like to run low flow or just have it in the back just in case. Um, if they have uh, a long, long transport, you have it right here on standby and all you have to do is hook it up. Okay. One thing I failed to mention right here on the very top underneath this little cover here is a pulse ox and a, and a USB port. 
Pulse Ox is always on standby, so it's just sitting there. You would get a waveform, pleth, waveform, heart rate, and SpO2. Um, the USB port is obviously you're, you can put in, uh, we can, Zoll can put in your newest and latest, greatest software, which we update our software a lot. And uh, you can also, we can also extract data from there. Um, so there's a lot of other stuff right there. Um, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And you see how fast that took? It only took about less than three seconds to, to when I turned it on, it did a full calibration test. It tested if the compressor was good, if, uh, if there was any failures uh, that it needs to recognize, but it quickly does a self-test. So other ventilators are not able to do that. Um, and other ventilators, by the way, don't have a single battery. You don't have to have a battery charger or a system on the side. This ventilator, it, what you see right here is what you get. All right, so right now, the best part of this ventilator is what's on this screen. Um, you know, it, paramedics, um, if you have a paramedics that are used to auto vents or if your paramedic is a very high level critical care flight medic, this ventilator is for them. Um, it, but what's unique is that this was built for paramedics. This is not one of those ventila uh, ventilators that was for RTs or meant to sit on the bedside and never be in transport. Everything about this ventilator is for transport, right? So let me show you some of the best software we think. So right now, this is what the vent's asking you. Over here on the side, it says, do you want to start this patient in adult, pediatric, CPAP mask, custom setting, and all with a just simple, just dial right here, right? But if I choose adult, this is mostly that very first one's your go-to, and I get a red light, right? The red light's telling me that I don't have a I patient disconnect. And one thing right here, you'll, you'll notice that our vent doesn't make a lot of sound right now. It's just waiting for you to connect the patient. And it's also giving you two minutes to, to take care of whatever you have to take care of. And we know that, that most of the time that's because you guys are transferring over all your settings and you're doing a lot of tube changes. Maybe you're doing a little bit of suction at this time. You're getting ready to transfer this patient and it silences it for two minutes. So it's less stress on the, on the medic. That's it. I'm pretty much done right here. These are Zoll's default settings in this adult right here. I got FiO2 at 21%, a five of peep, um, 450 of volume, 12 breaths per minute, um, an IE ratio of one to three. Not saying that you should always use these standards, but it is a great fast go-to. And that's how quickly this ventilator is ready to go. Um, everything is going to be right here on the side. There's not, this is not one of those ventilators that you got to search for the button somewhere. Is it over here? Is it, is, is it highlighted? Is it not? Is it bright? Is it not? Uh, um, you're going to find everywhere you're going to live is right here on the side, on the side. But let me show you some of the other stuff right here before I, uh, start making some changes. So with this ventilator, also has a waveform, a pressure over time waveform, right? This is gonna tell you if you have some synchrony issues right here. Is it, well, what about trigger issues? Is the patient over breathing? Are you auto peeping right now? Some of the things uh, that we're really concerned with, barotrauma, volume trauma, all those good stuff right there, right? Um, this is a full mechanical waveform, right? This is a very simple one. So this is an assist control. So uh, if I want to make any changes to assist control, I am I get to dictate the volume right now, right? So I go 450, I'm going to go up 510, right? Zoll has an industry standard as well. You know, we believe in six to eight mLs per kilo right now. So if I, I had to go up, all I had to do is touch, turn, and then confirm with the check mark. And now I'm giving myself a little bit more volume. But we added some critical features that we think that are amazing to this vent, such as this P-plat right over here. Yes, this is a manual breath button. As I press it, it can obviously give a breath. But if I come over here and hold it down and then release, 
I got a p-plat result of 23.9. It's just a result, but it should be that quick. It should be that easy, and that's how easy it is on this vent. So I can do it from behind the vent or facing it, uh, obviously. Um, it doesn't take much for somebody just to do a p-plat result and then release, and then I got 23.7. What does the p-plat result give you? Wow, you know, is this patient auto peeping underneath? Do I have some room to play with my peep here? Um, how does my uh, the alveoli look uh, uh, with all the changes that I've made? Um, we, we've heard a lot of people wanting that feature on this vent, and we added it right here, and it had to be quick and easy. Um, so again, the, where this vent shines at is in the software. Um, some of the other things here this vent can do. Quickly, I can go from SIMV, CPAP, you can't see that on the screen yet, or bi-level, which is, uh, um, or BiPAP, if you will, that's a trademark name. But something I, I, I failed to, to mention, and you probably already saw it, let's take something as your average here. I'm squeezing the Tesla on here. Let's make alarms. Yes, alarms is everybody's favorite thing. That's not true. Um, so I got a high pressure alarm. But let me see if I can show you up here on the screen here. That's annoying, is it? I'm gonna let go of that. Did you see all those bullet points? So our vent, unlike other vents, is going to help you through this process, through this alarms here. We're gonna say, why don't you try this, try this, try this, try this. Uh, we give you, uh, we're, what we're trying to do is, is get that temperature in the room, calm it down, and have that medic look at some of those things that he may or may forgot. Did he forget the suction? Um, that might be, a, is there a plugged up, uh, or is it, are you simply rolled over on the, uh, 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 on the circuit right there? So high pressure is, a, is one of your um, main ones, uh, alarms, if you will, that you always get. And obviously a disconnection alarm here. And then it walks you through on all the possibilities. Or maybe your oxygen. It's, it, if I raise my oxygen and I didn't have it, uh, it's going to go through all those things to help you knock out that alarm. Okay. Uh, so quickly, though, why I have a little bit of time, I'd like to show you some of the other features really fast. Now, as much as I love all the SIMV with pressure supports, assist controls, and so on, and... And I love the, the pediatric one that goes at SIMV and pressure support, uh, puts a little bit of pressure support on there, drops my peep. It's great. I don't have to a lot of thinking when I have a pediatric because I know this vent's gonna take care of them. I know it's gonna get them to a correct peep level. But let's be honest, we see a upscale on this ventilator because a lot of people are using it for this. So instead of just picking adult, you know, I might just pick mass CPAP. So now we know that you have an increase in mass and, and CPAP around there, right? And a lot of you say, well, we use our disposable CPAPs. You can continue to use your disposable CPAP or you can use this ventilator, which is super simple. I just went to CPAP. I can just hook it up right here and CPAP at five centimeters of water pressure. And let's say the scenario was that I was not doing well and I was not tolerating that, right? And maybe my worker breathing was not good. All I just did now was switch myself into bi-level. Great, now I'm in bi-level. And the bi level is nine over five. That's where Zoll starts off. And, and that's a nine of IPAP and five of EPAP. So that is an absolute pressure. That is what the hospitals are doing right there. So uh, I know a lot of vents may not be PEEP compensated versus non-PEEP compensated and they don't do the math. This does the math for you. So those settings can relate easily and transfer over to here. So a nine of IPAP, uh, you can bring your IPAP as, as high as you want, your EPAP as high as you want right there to match the same difficult patients right there. 
Um, so because we're short of time and you know, I didn't get a chance to show you some all, all the other features that this vent has. It has inverse ratios. Um, it's able to do uh, a lot more functions than I, I had time to go into. But I, uh, I hope you like this product demonstration. And uh, my name's Tito Spiritu. Thank you.